Who the hell are you? You know. You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. You what? I don't, I don't have a damn clue who the hell you are. Yeah. yeah, you do. I'm the gamer. I'm the guy who beat Claire on nightmare mode on accident. Bull That's right. Now, say my name. Steps basic. You're darn tootin' I am. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I had to do that. Somebody compared me to Walter White last time I made one of these videos, and I'm like, I have to roll with that. Ah. And of course, it doesn't help matters that I actually shaved my head yesterday. And trimmed down to a goatee, so it's like perfect fit now. <laughs> anyway, my name's Steph Spacey. Welcome back to my community show. Today, we have, as I promised, a lighter hearted subject. Today, we are going to discuss comedy. One of my favorite genres, second only to horror and fantasy, which kind of go hand in hand sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so forgive me, today is a bit of an ad lib, as it were, because I didn't. Uh, script because I fail again. <laughs> anyway, hi doggy. Hi, that's great to puppy. Oh, he says no. Anyway, so today, comedy. Comedy is the art of making people laugh. Telling jokes, being humorous, doing unexpected things. Well, there are certain classifications of comedy that help out a little bit. Everyone's got their favorite type of comedy, right? And, uh, you know, whether it's like dark humor or if you like slapstick or, you know, just basic lowbrow puns like I love. <laughs> well, there's, all, there's a genre of comedy for everyone. So first off, let's, let's, let's discuss comedy and, and the various different forms of comedy. Well, comedy is a necessity in dark times because when things are sad and, and, and heavy and, and weighty and you feel like the world's on your shoulder, you need to laugh. And, you know, that's why, that's why it's important to have comedy in our life. That's one thing I strive for in my channel. I hope I'm funny, honestly. I can't really tell. I, I watch stuff to make me laugh. And while I do watch informative stuff, I, I tend to mostly just go for funny or, you know, occasional horror and fantasy stuff. And while I enjoy the horror and fantasy stuff more than I enjoy the humorous stuff, I need the humor in my life. <laughs> so, different types of comedy. Slapstick is some of my favorite type of comedy, and I uh, very, very rarely will I watch anything slapstick related and not laugh. Now, those of you of my age and older can relate, or can, can, will see slapstick as, you know, Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry and, and stuff from uh, even before that, you know, with the Pratt Falls and, and the, the huge rubber mallets and bashing people around and, and people tripping and falling, you know, the hilarious, uh, mm, hilarious violence, as it were. <laughs> you know, the, the sort of, the sort of thing, you know, it's always about timing. Comedy relies heavily on timing and, and just running up and punching somebody is not funny necessarily without context. Now, Tom and Jerry, you know, you get Tom cornering Jerry in the corner and it's like, Rawr. and then all of a sudden Jerry pulls out this huge melon that's three times his size and smashes him into a pancake. You know, that, that that's, that's slapstick comedy. That's hilarious. You know, if you see a mouse ever do that in real life, then you run the other way because he's immortal. Cannot die. <laughs> uh, puns, which is a another form of comedy that I enjoy, being a dad that I am. I I love the I love the puns. You know, I love to punish people with my humorous anecdotes and and wordplay. Funniest part about puns really is the reaction I get from other people. <laughs> Now, I, I tell puns in my daily life, you know, any chance I get, the, uh, the guy who, uh, robbed the, uh, robbed the, uh, farmer, he really got his goat. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, puns are like that. You just basically take a word and use it in a context that doesn't seem fitting. It's like wordplay equals puns. Now, growing up, it's funny because I always thought that pun just meant bad joke because that's how it was always explained to me. Like, oh, I can't believe you said that. But there's a there's an intellectual side to puns, you know, 
Like, if you watch one of my Outlast videos like this, you'll see me walking around. That guy really lost his head, you know. <laughs> oh, this poor guy just fell to pieces. Stuff like that. You know, it, it takes... I don't want to say a smarter person to use puns because that seems a little... Uh, a little high and mighty of me, but honestly, it just takes a, a creative mind, a person to look at a situation and see the 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 play on words that they can use. And you know that to me is is it, it, it's it's impressive. Not everyone can just look at a situation and say ha 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 ha. I can put a word there that that doesn't that that will fit, but doesn't necessarily actually mean what I mean it to mean. That's a really poor interpretation of puns, but you know, most people don't like puns, which is kind of sad, you know, I think that that's a form of comedy that everyone should be able to get behind, and you know, it's often classified as dad jokes, and you know, I'm good with that. <laughs> Being a dad myself, I can use dad jokes and be happy. So, dark comedy. Dark comedy is a... a is, is is very is is a very uh, a nuanced subject. You know, some people love it because you know it it takes a dark situation and makes it funny. Now, now of course uh, it's a call. There, there's various different forms of it. You know, you got gallows humor, which is popularized by the people who were being hung back in the uh, medieval era when they were about to be hung and killed. They would essentially do a stand-up comedy routine before they died. You know, like, oh, my wife uh, always said I needed to get a good deck tie, but I don't think this is quite what she meant. Hmm? <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. Dark comedy is good, but that one is a very um, touchy subject because if you don't wait long enough for the subject to become, you know, a little less painful, then it, then it kind of isn't funny. It's just mostly offensive. And, you know, <laughs> like, we can joke about some things and, uh, it's always about context, there's a time and a place, and you know, a lot of people get in trouble for this sort of stuff because they're making fun of a dark situation and people without a sense of humor or people who were personally affected by said Shh, situation may not find it as funny and they'll complain, cry, whine, gripe and all that stuff. And it's important, you know, to, to, to gauge your audience. Now, were I a standard comedian, I would be uh, a bit more open to any sort of interpretation, you know, I'd be be more wary of gauging my audience, which is why I'm very careful what I do on my channel. I don't really do so much of the dark humor unless I'm actually referring to situations in my games. <laughs> because on account of the fact that there are a lot of people out there who might not find dark humor to be quite as enjoyable. And, you know, I'm going to tell a joke right now that's probably going to get me uh, ostracized, but sadly enough, it's one joke that I cannot help but laugh at. You know, it's, it's, it's one of my favorite jokes is, uh, you know, cannibalism is always funny until it happens to you. <laughs> and the funniest part about that joke is I actually made that joke up. I don't know if anyone else made it up before me, but I was just sitting there thinking about it because me and my brother made a, a cannibal joke while we were having dinner one time. And, and I'm like, you know, cannibalism is always funny until it happens to you. And I'm like, that one's amazing. I'm going to keep that one forever. <laughs> now, truth be told, I don't know very many people who have been directly affected by cannibalism. Or, you know, anybody who has been directly affected by cannibalism. So, in some ways, I find that to be a safe joke, even though it is dark humor. Of course, dark humor leads us into edgy comedy, which is quite possibly the, uh, the most difficult bit of comedy to get into because it is really tricky, especially in today's day and age, to tell the right joke without being thoroughly offensive. Now, um, that's the, actually the whole point of edgy comedy is to do something unexpected and what people do not find to be a good situation. Um, perfect example of the PewDiePie situation with the whole Nazi jokes and everything, dark comedy, um, edgy comedy. And, uh, shoot, what was his name? The dude who played Kramer on, uh, on, uh, Seinfeld? Trying to do, go for the shock laugh? Um, it'd be like me sitting up here and saying, you know what the hardest part about eating vegetables is? The wheelchair. That's edgy comedy. And, you know, people in wheelchairs might not particularly care for that joke. And, you know, that's understandable. Of course, people in wheelchairs might also find that to be darn hilarious. 
But again, you know, cannibalism is only funny if it until it affects you. <laughs> anyway, so that's about all I really got to say on comedy, but I do like to hear other people's opinions on it. Now, I feel that comedy is one thing that should never be truly censored on account of the fact that it's not necessarily representative of a person's ideals, mostly. Uh, I've always said that comedy is the mirror that we look at ourselves in and we can laugh, because you should always be able to laugh at yourself. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, then honestly, you're going to lead a very sad and miserable life. Now me, I learned a long time ago how to laugh at myself. Like, I have OCD, right? I have issues with keeping things not so much clean, but orderly. And I have to have control. And, you know, when I would go to school, I would line up my pencils with my book, with my paper, and it would be perfectly fine. And then my friend who sat next to me would always come along and just tilt everything slightly. <laughs> I had to learn to laugh or I was going to get furious every single time. Now, I did at first get really, really upset at this. But then I had to take a moment and I took a pretty deep breath. And, like, and I just tilted everything back and I said, stop it or I'm going to beat you with a dog. And, you know. <laughs> but anyway, you know, laughing at yourself is important. <laughs> I myself love comedy and will always laugh because I have a, a far too powerful sense of humor. I will laugh at darn near anything, even stuff that I probably shouldn't laugh at. <laughs> but you know, that's, it comes from leading a particularly rough life and, 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 and trying to find some way to keep myself from going insane or, you know, further insane. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and poke that like button if you feel the need to uh, and you want to. You can go ahead and comment down below. I'd like to hear your idea of good comedy. If I missed any subject of, or subjects on comedy, like any different types of comedy that I might have missed, go ahead and leave them down there. I don't mind reading them. And if, I, if there's a type of comedy I haven't heard about, I'd really like to know about it because, as I said, I love comedy. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz. And uh, tune in next week when we will be doing, I don't know, something. I usually figure it out before we get there. Uh, and as always, until then, night.